नमस्ते हमेशा खुश रहो बिटिया आई एम जेविन डॉक्टर लिली त्रिवेदी एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द लैब सेशन फॉर बीएससी एग्रीकल्चर सेकंड सेम एंड द कोर्स इज फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ क्रॉप फिजियोलॉजी एंड द सेशन टुडे इज मेजरमेंट ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस एंड रेस्पिरेशन सो फॉर टुडेस क्लास हियर आई एम गोइंग शेयर now let's start with the first slide now that is measurement of photosynthesis now we have how will you measure the photosynthesis for that we have an instrument that is called a will mots bubbler now this will mots bubbler consists of a test a conical flask in which we have a plant and an inverted tube in which we are attaching the plant now the main purpose or the principle of this is when the photosynthesis will occur the plant will release carbon it will release oxygen and that oxygen will go out in the form of bubbles now these bubbles can be counted or there can be we can put it in the again a water so the space created can be measured so there are various setups that can be used to measure the rate of photosynthesis now as already said each relies on the counting of oxygen produced during the reaction now to improve the results we can add a pinch of baking soda to the water in the test tube so suppose you can take eludia stem or hydrilla also and it should be cut at an angle and we use our fingers to crush the end of this stem now the water in the beaker which we have kept is meant to absorb the heat from the light now the light can be either by using cfl bulbs so the heat sink or the beaker with water cannot be necessary if we are using cfl bulb but the test tube is inverted so that the air pocket can be measured a marker can also be used to measure the amount of oxygen in the test tube rather than counting the bubbles so all the data and data we have to record and so that the data supports and we can measure the photosynthetic release of oxygen so that was the first experiment in which we have measured the photosynthesis so the basic is to measure the amount of oxygen released during photosynthesis either by counting the bubbles or by measuring in a the oxygen release now let's come to the second part of the experiment that is measuring the rate of respiration now to measure the rate we are using the flaring blood instead of flowering buds or tissues we are using germinating seeds now these germinating seeds are respiring fast so the re uh, requirement is germinating seeds of flower petals the instrument is genon's respirometer and we use 10% koh solution so the theory is rate of respiration it can be estimated with the help of genon's respiro meter now what is genon's respirometer it is a apparatus here you can see in the diagram it is a apparatus which comprises of three leveling parts of the tube for the respiratory meter there is a bulb that terminates in 10% of koh is there and the bulb has a stopper with a lateral hole in it now here is the hole and so it uh, it is through this hole that the atmospheric association is made through the stopper regulation so the stopper is there and also a hole is there now the graduated manometer is embedded with the bulb so there is a manometer which contains now this leveling tube is fastened to the manometer using a this is a manometer and using a rubber tube so you can see this is the rubber tubing 
the complete setup is required in a stack. So this is the setup and we have clamp stand and here we have attached it properly. So the setup is there. This is the rubber tubing. There is 10% clear solution. This is the leveling tube and these are the respiring material. Now when the respiring material, they will release, take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. Now this carbon dioxide is here in the pure solution. Now as said, the procedure is to measure 2 ml of respiring material through germinating seeds. We place it in a big bulk of respirometer. In the manometer tube, we have added 10% pure solution. Initially, the regulation of bulk stopper, the atmospheric pair around the respiring material is removed to the atmospheric pressure. And the regulation con continues to the neck of the bulb and the hole are coinciding with the same. Now, this reservoir tube is placed on the mark, is on the right, is leveled in such a way that the clear solution inside the tube reaches the mark of 100 ml at the base of nanometer. And now the respiring material is enclosed in a setup of 100 ml of air. So to start the experiment, we turn the glass stopper located at the top. This causes the atmospheric air to be cut off. And now we will observe what changes take place. So the changes that have taken place is noted. Now what happens, the solution within the nanometer tube is observed to be rising eventually. Now why is this? This is because respiration is taking inside the closed apparatus. Now the reading of the experiment should be marked with 80 ml mark. That is the volume of 20 ml as aerial oxygen is 20%. The reading should take at an interval of 10 minutes. Every time the liquid is brought to the same mark in both the tubes, the liquid in the closed tube is made to come under atmospheric pressure. So this outcome is measured as the amount of carbon dioxide evolved in millimeter which comes out of the respiring material that is used. And here we have used that the seed. Now, what do we conclude from this? That the liberated carbon dioxide comes in contact with the clear solution and it is consumed by it. the oxygen absorbed. Oxygen is absorbed and hence clear it rises in the nanometer tube. The rate at which QH rises is estimated from the rate at which the anaerobic, in which the aerobic respiration is taking place. Now it is measured in the terms of consumption of oxygen volume per unit time per 2 ml of the respiring material. So one fifth of the volume of the oxygen is oxygen. Therefore, out of 100 ml of the air inside the respirator, only 20 ml is oxygen. So this is why the reading is taken up to 20 ml rise in the KOH solution. After this, what happens? It is an aerobic respiration. So we are using KOH as a measurement marker. So this is about the two experiments. The basic, I thank you very much. I've taken the material from these references and I hope you have understood. And if you are satisfied with my query, kindly give in the comment box. If you have any query, kindly write in the comment box. This session was powered by digital version 2.0 of Jyoti Vidyapi. So students, if you have any query, please do give in the comment box. We have used two apparatus, the Wilmont bubblometer for the photosynthesis and the Genong respirometer for respiration. So thank you very much. I hope you like my lecture. Thank you.